Tonight, a Clearwater couple is facing felony charges after detectives say they scammed an 84-year-old woman out of $27,000. And ABC Action News reporter Sarah Hollenbeck found out it's a scam that's becoming increasingly more common and the red flags you need to look out for. It started with a phone call about an extended car warranty. Detectives say a boyfriend and girlfriend here in Clearwater were able to deceive an 84 year old in Connecticut into giving out her credit card number. They can be very persuasive. They call and they can get personal information. Clearwater Police Department Major Natalia Illich Haley says the suspects kept calling and over an eight month stretch, they were able to con her into giving out seven different credit card numbers. That credit card then would stop working um, and they would call her back. The Clearwater couple racked up $27,000 in charges, including 17 orders for food to go from Smoky Bones on Golf to Bay, expensive electronics from Best Buy, plus... And the suspects even uh, were brazen enough that they but they paid for their own car insurance with our victim's credit card. Luckily, the victim's daughter was diligent, checking her mom's credit card accounts, and when things didn't add up, she called police. Detectives were able to catch up to the suspects after they used the stolen credit card to pay a portion of their rent seven times right here in Clearwater. The Federal Communications Commission says this particular type of scam involving extended car warranties has skyrocketed during the pandemic. Detectives say the pitch can be convincing because the caller may have specific information about your car and the warranty your dealership offers. They may also conceal their phone number with caller ID spoofing. Detectives say you should never give out your personal information, and if the caller seems particularly pushy, it should be a red flag. You really should be checking every single month to see what accounts have been opened in your name, and if you don't recognize it, that's when you put a stop on that account, call the police department, and we'll start doing the work there. In Clearwater, Sarah Hollenbeck, ABC Action News.